Hey goddess, Aviola here, founder of womanifesting.com and the book brand business lab, which you can start with a free masterclass if you're wanting to build your book, your brand, or your business, and you're a coach, a healer, or creative consultant at richgoddess.club. So this video is an offering of love for you and for me. We're going to be talking about coronavirus anxiety and fear. I know we spoke about this in Goddess Temple Sunday. I'm going to put the link below how you can access that conversation because it's a really important part of that, of this. But this conversation is just strictly EFT tapping to deal with the fear and the anxiety of the coronavirus. I have to tell you, as we wait right this minute, I am waiting for, as you and I are chatting, we're waiting for 40 rolls, <laughs> 40 rolls of toilet tissue to be delivered here to my place because I tried to buy toilet tissue and it's, I order my groceries online and it's totally sold out. Um, it disappeared from my cart. Things kept disappearing from my cart as I tried to buy my groceries. Um, I ended up with my groceries, but a whole bunch of ramen noodles because everything was all kept disappearing from my cart and everything was sold out. Um, finally, the only place I could find toilet tissue to purchase was on Amazon. And even then, I don't know what these 40 rolls are going to look like because it said RV industrial grade or RV grade or RV safe or something like that. And some toilet tissue I never bought before. So there is, you know, of course, panic going on. Um, I have a family member who has a wedding happening. Um, beautiful, uh, beautiful couple beginning their way in the world. But I had to call my parents um, and tell them, nah. You can't go. Thank you, Goddess Lee. She says she loves the Girl Trek shirt. Yes, follow Girl Trek. If you're not up on them, they are an amazing organization. So yeah, if you can't, if your loved ones are retirement age, they can't be, you know, going cross state or whatever to different weddings and different events. They're gonna have to Skype it in, <laughs> Zoom it in, <laughs> send the card, send some love and call it a day. So even I just had a conversation. Thank you, Goddess D. She said, I love Girl, Girl Trek. Well, I can't take credit for Girl Trek. <laughs> but I'm glad you love Girl Trek. So do I. Um, but even like on March 20th coming up, I have a sister circle in Manhattan that was supposed to be a goddess circle to celebrate the equinox. But I'm going to have to move that to an online goddess circle. The information about that is going to come. Um, it'll still be a amazing. It'll still be fun. Maybe I'll have to, you know, block it off in, in my living room and still put on my white goddess dress and we'll be up in here doing, a, you know, our goddess welcoming or whatever. But it's all good. We're going to make it happen. So I'm going to just share with you some EFT tapping. EFT, emotional freedom technique. If you are not familiar with it, in uh, short, what it is, it's tapping on the ends of the meridian points that run through our body and it causes it he it has been proven scientifically to help with pain physical and emotional pain and anxiety and for me as somebody who is a person who has had anxiety of every kind you can probably think of all her life i find it to be a complete relief it has helped me with challenges with um unhealthy eating patterns, a number of different things. You can find all of that on my site at womanifesting.com or go to YouTube and type in Abiola EFT. All right, so we're gonna just tap through right now. Hello, Goddess Shanice. We're gonna just tap through. See, I put on my, my Girl Trek shirt. Thank you y'all for not pointing out that it's not, it's, it's very wrinkled. It's a very wrinkled uh, work from home situation right this minute. <laughs> but we're gonna just tap through, let's just tap through, um, you know, just fear or anxiety with the red pajama pants, <laughs> fear or anxiety of dealing with coronavirus, okay? All right, so let's just start with, I want you to just type into the comments on a scale of one to 10, and maybe it's not where you live, which is awesome. Maybe you're at a zero, maybe you're at a 10, where you are with coronavirus, fears, thoughts, anxieties, etc. So wherever you're starting with it. So right now, I would think I am about a, maybe about a seven. I was like at a 10 
when I woke up this morning and was trying to get my peeps on the phone, <laughs> the, the well-meaning people who raised me and tell them that they don't need to be leaving the house. <laughs> I know, you know, Ida is at the Y and we like to go swimming at the Y and all of that. But right now that's one shut down. So <laughs> they have complied. They agree. So I think now I'm at about a seven. And um, I spoke with the organization, like I said, about us doing our, our spring equinox circle online. And so I'm probably at about a seven, all right? So let's just start with there. And we're gonna just tap. This is the, called the karate chop point right here. We're just gonna tap. You're gonna just do what I do, repeat after me, and we're gonna just do it, all right? Doesn't matter if it looks funny. Doesn't matter if it looks strange, who cares? All right, this virus, this virus, even though I am nervous about the coronavirus, I choose to love, honor, and cherish myself. Even though I am feeling a bit anxious about the coronavirus, I choose to love, honor, and accept myself. Top of the head, this virus, the coronavirus, Everybody's talking about the coronavirus. When I turn on the news, there it is. When I go online, there it is. When my friends are texting me, there it is. When I go on social media, there it is. This virus, this coronavirus. They say it's been around for a long time they're saying it was around before this. So how come I never heard of it? And now they're saying Tom Hanks has it too? And maybe even Justin Trudeau and his wife? This coronavirus. And our president isn't giving us much news. Our leadership isn't telling us what to do. They're saying, wash your hands, but I already washed my hands. So what does it all mean? This fear, this fear of this virus. All I can do is keep breathing. All I can do is wash my hands. All I can do is think of my loved ones this virus but what do i do with my fear and what do i do with my anxiety what if i stayed in the present moment what if in the present moment right here right now all was well what if my creator is taking care of me what if I could really say the universe has me? What if I could really say the universe has my loved ones? What if I could say, okay, this is scary, but God got me. What if I could say, yes, this is scary, but God got me. Scary things have happened before. There have been viruses since I was a kid to now. There was Ebola, H1N1, and a bunch of other things. So what if this virus is gonna just pass? What if in a few days or weeks, we'll be back to normal? What if this virus was about how we live, not how we die? What if it reminds me to just be kind to each other? What if I was safe and all is well? Right this minute, I am safe and all is well. It's allergy season, so people are sneezing. Maybe I'm even the one that's sneezing and sniffling. But that's a regular thing. And viruses have been a regular thing. 
since the beginning of time. And more often we're well than we're not well. I believe I have important things to do. I believe that I was born for greatness. I believe that everything will be okay in the end. And if it's not okay, then it's not the end. But all is well. And every day in every way, things are working out for me. Every day in every way, things are working out for my loved ones. We are safe and all is well. We will take the necessary precautions. Sure, we'll avoid crowds. Yes, we will wash our hands. And yes, we will check on each other. I guess the virus did remind us to be more compassionate. Because I'm thinking about how much I love myself. I'm thinking about how much I care for myself. And I'm thinking about how much I care for the people around me. So it's about self-compassion too. How much compassion can I show me? And freaking out and being anxious is not compassionate. I don't have to worry about the things that I can't change. It makes no sense to worry about the things that I can't change. So right in this moment, I am well. Right in this moment, I am safe. Right in this moment, I am loved. All is well and I am loved. I am well and all is, I am well and all is well. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell my creator how big my fear is. I'm gonna tell this coronavirus how big my God is. I'm gonna tell this coronavirus that we are well and all is safe. We're good, thank you for the reminder. Move it on now, because we are safe and all is well. I am safe and all is well. We are safe and all is well. And it's good to feel good. Ah, oh, it feels good to feel good. It feels good to feel good. Whew. Take a deep breath and we invite into the energy, we invite into the space, we call upon our ancestors to come forward to protect us, to protect all those we love. We know that we are safe and that all is well. We are safe and all is well. So where's your fear number right now? I started at a seven. Right this moment, I'm at a zero. Maybe a one? No, a one even I would be forcing it. I'm at a zero. And so if I'm feeling anxious again a little bit later as I check the news and things come up and this one and that one, I'm going to just tap again. If I'm feeling anxious, I'm going to just tap again because I have access to this all the time. And so do you. We are safe and we are well. I love you, love you, love you. Now let me get close because I can't see. See what your comments are saying. Yes, Goddess D says, only slight worry because the ones unaware will be caught off guard as they dismiss it. And Goddess California Talia says, how are you doing? How are you doing? All is safe and we are well. She says she started at a two with that president. Oh, is there a president? I wasn't aware. <laughs> she says, feeling at a zero now. Yay. All is safe and we are well. Bye, goddesses. Thank you, goddess Sophie. She says, well done. Have a beautiful day. Pass this on. Hit the share button. Hit thumbs up. Share this with somebody, okay? All right, good.